Hi, Phyllis here from southernfrugal.com. I'm going to make a strawberry upside down cake and I'm going to make it in the food processor. Now, I'm going to do this because I had a little girl write in and said that she had just gotten her food processor and was looking forward to making things in it. Now, one of the things that you normally do not make in a food processor is a cake, but there is a technique to do it and it makes it really, really fast. So. Uh, here are the ingredients that you'll need for this strawberry upside down cake. One 16 ounce pack of fresh strawberries. You're going to need one and a third cups of self rising flour. Now I like white lily for cakes because it makes great cakes. Just make sure you get self rising. One cup of sugar one half stick of butter and I'm going to melt this completely in the microwave because it's going to go in the bottom of my casserole and then you're going to need one whole stick of butter that's softened and I'm going to show you how to do that in the microwave. Two whole eggs and you want to get large or extra large. Pure vanilla extract. Some baking soda and of course salt and you're also going to need a half a cup of whole buttermilk. All right, I want to show you now how to uh, soften your butter in the microwave. Now I just take it out of the wrapper and really I just usually just break it right in half, put it in that little a little bowl and I usually just put the wrapper right over it so that it won't, uh, you know, splatter out in your microwave. All right, let's see if you can come over here with me. We're going to go right over to the microwave. Now I'm going to put it in here, but I'm not going to put it in for long. I'm going to uh, put it, I'll just hit one and just let it. Uh, go for about 30 seconds because once it starts melting you want to take it right out and then it'll just continue to get soft. You don't want it really runny, okay? Oops, I got butter on that. <laughs> Alright, let me check that now. Alright, there you go. It only took like 20 seconds and you see it did not splash anywhere in my uh, microwave because I use this little paper on it. All right, see it? Some of it is just a little bit melted and what will happen, I'll mix that around a little bit. By the time I get around to putting it uh, into the food processor for the cake, it will be completely soft. All right, I'm going to do the strawberries. I'm going to take the hulls off of them and I'm going to uh, wash them and we'll be back. All right, we're back and I have finished washing the strawberries. I've also melted one fourth cup of butter. And I'm gonna put that down in the bottom of my casserole dish. And just kind of scoot it around a little bit and make sure it's covered the whole area. Now, the strawberries I washed and cut in half. And, <coughs> excuse me, I'm going to place them skin side down. Now, the uh, strawberries are going to kind of melt, and really, in the end, they kind of taste like strawberry jam, to tell you the truth. But the cake's over top of them, and it'll be really moist, and uh, I think you'll really like it. Anyway, it's very easy uh, fixing the uh, cake part in the food processor. In fact, it's just as easy as if you were using a cake mix, only it's going to taste a lot better than a cake mix would. I think the reason I don't like the cake mixes is because it's like they use the artificial vanilla flavor, and I can always tell, you know, even when you get a cake, you know, that you buy at the bakery, it seems like they always taste like artificial vanilla to me. 
I know some people can't tell the difference, but boy, I sure can. All right. Now we've got all these in. Now, they're going to be sitting here while we're just quickly mixing up the cake. And what I'm going to do is take um, one third a cup of just regular white sugar. Now, as soon as the sugar comes in contact with the strawberries, the strawberries start releasing their juice. So I had to get something to wipe my hands. Okay, one third of a cup of sugar. Now just sprinkle it right over the top, like that. Now this is, I guess, a nine by 12 little Pyrex casserole dish. So just sprinkle it all over. Okay, now we're just going to set this aside and we're going to start working on the cake. Now this is just a plain uh, layer cake, really, recipe. But one of the uh, most important things when you're making a cake is to always sift the flour. I mean, just always, always. And uh, all of my uh, directions from, from making cakes uh, my recipes are for sifted flour. So you want to just take out, you know, from the bag what you think is about a cup, and then another third of a cup. And make sure you use these, uh, this is a measuring cup for dry ingredients. This kind of measuring cup is for wet ingredients. All right, now we're going to sift this. And I'm going to show you now, I measured a cup and a third, right? So I'm going to show you what happens to this. All right, now we're going to measure that back. All right, here's my uh, one-third of a cup, okay? And this is my cup. cups of flour and if I had not sifted it look how much more flour I would have had and this is why sometimes when people make uh, cakes from scratch and they're going by a recipe uh, they fail to uh, measure the flour and then the cakes dry so that's one and one-third cups of flour now I'm going to also need one half cup of buttermilk. So I'm going to go ahead and measure that out in my liquid measuring cup. All right, there's my one third cup of buttermilk. And of course, I've got the two eggs and my butter that I softened in the microwave. And let's have a look at that. See, some of it is melted and then. I just stir it around because you don't want the butter completely melted and you want it softened and normally to soften butter you take it out of the refrigerator probably a couple of hours before you needed it but if you do it in the microwave like this you know you don't have to be bothered with that now what always happens with me I always forget to take the butter out you know and so I learned how to do it uh, with the microwave okay so this is one half cup of, please use real butter. It'll make your cake so much better. All right, we're ready to start now. And I've got my uh, food processor sitting over, sitting over here. And it's a really old food processor. I mean, like 15 years old, okay? And I've used it a lot. All right, there it is. Now, what you can do when you're making a cake is when you mix the whatever kind of butter or oil or whatever and the eggs and the sugar together you can just beat it forever 
and the cake will be fine. But when you start adding the flour and the other liquid, uh, you're going to have to just be very careful and not beat it so much. So what I'm going to do is add in the uh, butter. Let me let you come over here where you can see a little bit better. All right, how about that? That's better. Okay, we're going to put the butter in. Now, one of the drawbacks to doing a cake in a food processor is that um, it's pretty hard to get all the stuff out. Now, I'm going to put in one cup of sugar. Now, this is a half cup measure, so I'm going to use two of those. So, that's one half cup butter, or one stick of butter, one cup of sugar, I'm going to go ahead and put the vanilla in at this time too. I want one teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. If I can get it open. There we go. I'm just going to go ahead and put this in. All right, there you go. Now, you really don't need but just a dash of salt. In fact, I'm not even going to measure it. I'm just going to like put it in my hand just a little bit. Not much. That's probably not even half a teaspoon. Because the flour has already got salt in it. Okay, now we're ready. Let me see if I can clean that off. Now we're ready for the eggs. Now you're going to use two large eggs, okay? Just crack those. And try to crack your eggs on a flat surface if you can, okay? All right, two eggs. They're going to go straight into the food processor. Now, these are all the ingredients that you need to put in, and you just, you just need to mix them up at this point. All right, I'm going to go ahead and leave the, the uh, camera on while I'm doing this. Now, you see how long I did that. The, the uh, eggs are kind of a lemony color and everything's all mixed up. Now what we're going to do is add the flour in and we're going to be real careful and not over mix it when we do that. So you're going to start out with flour and I'm going to use my little third of a cup first. Just pulsing it. Now I'm going to start putting in my buttermilk and I'm going to use about half of that. So about four pulses in that order to do it. All right, now I'm going to put in some more flour. Half that. Now don't worry if there's flour kind of around the edge, that won't hurt a thing. Now I'm going to put in the rest of my buttermilk, and again this was one half cup of buttermilk. So each time it's about four pulses. Now this is the last of the flour. You want to always end with flour and begin with flour. All right. Now at this point, I'm going to go ahead and add one half teaspoon of baking soda. And the reason for that is the cake has got buttermilk in it. And so you want to kind of, you know, level out the sourness of the buttermilk. Well, actually I'm only going to put, I meant to say a fourth of a teaspoon, excuse me. I've got to where I'm messing up on stuff like that in my old age. All right, that's about a fourth of a teaspoon of baking soda. All right. All right, I did it just 
a little more at the end. There's my cake mix perfectly mixed up. Okay. Now I'm just going to pour this over the strawberry and butter and sugar mixture. Now see that flour there? You don't worry one bit about that because it'll, it'll go right into the batter. We'll just start dumping that right out. And you just want to cover all your strawberries as best you can. Take this off. Now my food processor comes with a little special little thing to, you know, get all the whatever you're mixing up off of this blade. But I find that the spatula works just about as well. And of course, I think all food processors can be put in the uh, dishwasher. Now, I know when, I, when they first came out, you couldn't put them in the dishwasher, but now you can. Now we're just going to spread this out. So just a very thin layer over all these strawberries. Now, of course, the strawberries are going to do some cooking while the cake is cooking. Now, depending on your oven, most of the time this would only have to cook about, I'd say, 30 to 45 minutes. But everybody's oven is different. So you want to just check it after about 30 minutes at 350 degrees. Now I'm going to I'm going to say 30 minutes for my oven. But you want to just check it and you know all you do is just touch it on the top and you know see if it kind of springs back just a little bit. Now this is a very rich cake so it won't be doing much springing back. So all right, I'm going to go ahead and put this in the oven. And it did take me longer because I was explaining everything, but you can see that this would be really fast. All right, we'll be back when it's done. Okay, our cake is done. See, it kind of springs back a little bit. Now, what you want to do is take a little knife and just cut all around the edge. Make sure nothing to do with the cake sticks. Now, I'll have to warn you, Sometimes these don't always come out of the pan exactly like you want them to. And I have actually just served it from the, you know, cut it in pieces and served it like this. But we're going to try and see if it won't come out real pretty for us since I'm recording. So I've just got a pan. I've put some parchment paper on it, an old pan. I'm just going to hold it like that and hope and pray that it comes out. paper straight here. Alright, there we go. Just put the pan right down on top of it. Oh, it's really hot now. You do have to dump it out when it's hot because it really won't come out if it gets cold. Alright, here we go. One, two, three. Oh, have you ever seen such dirty pot holders? <laughs> I do wash them, but they get all stained. Okay, there it is. One strawberry upside down cake. Let you look at it real close. Now I'm going to cut a piece to show you what it looks like. Strawberries are going to be real squishy, squishy, but that's really what you're looking for. There it is. Isn't that pretty? 
taste of it. I to blow it because it's hot. Mm, mm. It's good. Okay. I hope this will encourage you to sometimes make uh, cakes in the uh, food processor. They don't make quite as good a texture as if you, you know, use a mixer, but it certainly is quick, okay? Now this cake, because I only put a half a cup of sugar in the bottom of it, it's not real super sweet like you would expect, so I hope you'll try this, and we'll see you next time.